Hello everyone, my name is Flair Bliss and welcome to Noel the Mortal Fate Season 9. Remember this guy in front of us? He helped out the mayor who is a bit of an antagonist slash tyrant. Everyone claims him to be the hero of the town when he is actually doing the wrong things. Whereas Noel and Charion, I believe his name is, is trying to stop that guy. So I believe this chapter is going to be a revolving around this character here. Hmm, play on PC, that's what we're doing. And the controls are a search on the screen. Never see the fit to play on a smartphone or tablet. But anyways. Noel Mortal Fate presented by Kanawa. Kanawo? Ah, oh, we're at the factory, aren't we? Come on out, bomber! I know you're there. Who the hell are you? You don't look like a cop. Now remember the translations of seven and eight series of this game being a little bit... Well, it feels like they're rushed and nonsensical. But hopefully this is better. Who the hell are you? You don't look like a cop. Pee off, I got nothing to say to some lowlife punk. Get your boss out here. Gah! Ugh. Watch your mouth. You got any idea where you even are? The Drizzle Steel Mill. A lot of people may pretend they don't see it, but everyone knows about it. It's an abandoned building being used as the Demon Bomber's base. From what I can tell, you look like some... So <laughs> you look like some loser punk who spends all their time getting their ass kicked. This is no place for children. I'm not here to talk to you. I came to become Bomber's apprentice. Apprentice? What is, what's all of this then? What's going on outside here? Bomber. Just some kid who got lost, don't worry about it. Hey, Bomber, make me your apprentice. Why? You guys are just the punks of this town, but you've got this badass base here. You made a name for yourselves. I, too, want a place I can belong. Like you guys, I want people to recognize and accept me. So, I want to join up, please. I see. Don't take this kid seriously, Fugo. He's going to cramp our style. You're the one who gives a... I don't know how to pronounce that. About style, Loro. Don't give me orders. Uh, this is interesting. I won't make you my apprentice, but how about I let you do some work? Really? If I decide I don't need you, I'll just toss your ass into the furnace. Hehe. <laughs> Remember Bomber being a very big individual. If that's your decision, I'll abide. So, what's your name? Agartha. Agartha Flats. I'm Laurel, ex-Mafia. Okay then, we'll use your for banana work. You need to learn that the underground isn't a place you purposely move into. Zoe, are you there? Ah, yeah? Fix him up. Okay. Mm, but where are our two main characters? Uh, does this hurt? No. You trying to act tough? Damn it! It's okay. I could put a bandage on by myself. Give it here. I mean, please. Sorry. I thought Zoe was more feisty than this. So, what's up with you? Huh? All these guys here are bomber's buddies, right? So what's a meek-looking girl like you doing here? Sorry? Pfft. Seriously? Chill, Agatha. The more a dog barks, the weaker it is. Also, she's your superior, you know. 
Luo, right? You were all messed up when you first got here. What happened? Does it even matter? It's nice to know your backstory, dude, and it could help us in the long run. Yeah? Can't have you bring trouble up in here, you know. Come on, dude. I beat the crap out of the dudes at the facility and left. Facility? The orphanage. I'm not going back there again. I can't go back. But I won't bring trouble. Orphanage? Hmm. As long as you don't cause problems for us, you can stay here in the steel mill. But you're gonna work to pay for food and shelter. Okay, thanks. I just kinda ended up here. But this turns out it turns out this was a good idea. If I'm here with Bomber, I become the me I've always wanted to be. But kid, you haven't sacrificed your soul to a demon so that you can gain demonic powers. I mean, hey, Bomber walks around like he owns a place, so... Hmm... Do you think that? Ah, these are the guards of the mayors. Hey, good work. Nice weather today, huh? I saw the papers. So the terrorists are back, huh? And like... I remember, like a... Um, an outer sea organization swarmed the town when the mayor was in trouble. And like, it's all over the TV and the newspapers. That's all they talk about. It's boring. You know, I just want to see the news on yesterday's game. That's not important news though. Whatever. Be like that then. You're too good for small talk, huh? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Fine, I'll just do my own thing anyway. Who is this man? Maybe they're in there, actually. One of them is. Isn't that the bomber? Fugo, yes. Demon of Explosions. Fugo Drezel. Escape with the others and split up. A month ago, after being attacked by OCT in the container yard, Fugo and Co. got away by leaving Oscar behind. I wonder how old he is. They're brothers, aren't they? Or they're at least related. After that, taking advantage of Python's connections to the old Rozo fa family, sorry, they split up and went into hiding in the city. The translation's a lot better than the original uh, Season 7 was. Definitely a, an improvement. Up to now, they've kept quiet and avoided the OCT. And while that may sound good... So it's already been a month. Actually, two months since the ceremony. At this point, we can't get weapons or even medicine. That compensation is making me sick. And things aren't looking me... Sorry, things aren't looking up. Peers me off. Good morning, Mr. Drezzle. Hey, sorry about that. I didn't think you'd actually be awake. You got a problem with me getting up early? No, no, not at all. You should sleep in, so I assumed you'd be asleep. Anyway, I've got some good news. This morning's paper... What? Did something happen? Huh? Noel, Charon, Oscar... They broke through the checkpoint. Yesterday evening. Those guys. They're alive. And my brother is with them. <laughs> if they're alive, why the hell not say so? Wow, they apparently busted right through the OCT. The OCT captain surrounded with tanks and they still lost. S seriously? What? How did they pull it off? You start to dwindle in numbers, so I'll bet you're happy to hear that. Huh? Numbers? What do you mean? Hmm? I mean, the steel mill guys apart from the remaining three. You can't get hold of them, right? But, what? Is this going to be time for action? Um, maybe. I wasn't supposed to talk about that? Masri? No, I mean, it's Python now. You uh, haven't heard anything from him? 
I heard you had a smartphone for contacting him. Look. No, I haven't heard blank about that. Hey, are you gonna move on this? You're gonna need medicine or a mask, right? After that stuff yesterday, the OCT are going crazy. I think you should stay calm. After hearing that, there's no one gonna stay holed up in here. Noel has just come back. I want to get things started back up. Thanks for a month of help. You really helped a lot, ex Rosso guy. You don't need to thank me. In your community, you've been taking care of the younger ex Rosso guys. Please, just be careful and stay alive. I will. <laughs> But is he even careful in the first place? You're still so young, or in other words, naive and short-sighted. I just hope that energy doesn't result in something bad. Noel the Mortal Fate, Season 9, Burn Your Name. Did you see the news about Noel? Yeah? Good to hear that. Everyone seems to be doing okay. I was getting pretty worried. There for a bit. So Oscar's there too, apparently. I remember Slug, he was a good lad. That's good. Yeah, that's a real relief. But hey, Python, it's not exactly everyone. Now, is it? What do you mean? The old man from the Rosso talks. Apart from you, seems he can't get hold of any of the guys from the steel mill. What? Damn it. That guy really has a big mouth. Sorry. I decided that if Bomber finds out, he'd start moving. So I had to stop the flow of information. Seriously? I'll get caught up on the details later. Now we're gonna go hook up with Noel and co. Huh? Now? As in like... Now, now? Yeah, like, get your stuff ready, we're going now. I thought you'd say that. At the moment, OCT is pretty unstable and dangerous. But more importantly, you've had no medication for two months. And I'm, and I'm not so sure you're doing okay. So how about we get properly prepared first, huh? What are you talking about? Let's go now. OCT is probably pretty drained right now. Noel and them are in love. La place. This is our chance to move. Well, when you put it that way. So what's the word, Python? Fine. I assume you will remember the meetup point, yeah? No sheesh. Ah, back. Click on back. First, I gotta hook up with Python, Toad, and Slug. We'll gather intelligence, then make contact with Noel. Let's go. Who is watching? I thought someone was watching. This is gonna make things harder now. Oh, we've got goals to get to. And the red spots are bad. From here, you'll control Fugo and Co. on this full size map. Use the mouse or touch controls to move. So that's our goal. The goal here is to get Fugo, Python, Toad, and Slug all to the meetup point in the center of the map. Okay, the meetup point is far. We're gonna have to keep moving. You see the arrow-shaped icon? Yes, is that the indication of where the soldiers will be moving? You can use this icon to look over the map and select cap, okay. First try selecting Fugo. Okay. Tap the glowing blue area to move there. Tap the selected character once more to cancel. Okay. You can select a character to take control of that character. You can only move two areas connected with a line but are next to each other. Select the glowing area and try to move Fugo there. I'll do that. With each successful move, a bottom left action point's AP gauge will decrease by one. You can keep moving until your AP hits zero. Okay, keep moving Fugo till his AP hits zero and proceed. Okay.
What's here? Your AP has hit zero, so you can't move anymore. Your turn will automatically end. You can also press the top right turn end icon to end your turn any time. Okay. Enemy turn. Great. Sheesh, it's the OCT. When the OCT appear on the map, the character immediately next to them will be attacked. Battle outcome is determined automatically. If you still have life remaining up at the top left, you can win the battle and take out your enemy. However... Okay. <laughs> you see that? One or two OCT is no problem for me. While I was able to take them out, I'm pretty drained out. As you do battle, of course, your life will deplete. Normally, the cost of taking out one OCT unit is battle is two, but like just now, when attacking an enemy by an enemy instead of launching an attack, you'll end up losing even more life than usual. Be especially careful when being attacked by enemies. So we need to take the march on the enemy. Hmm, a chat notification. Let's check it out. Oh, sorry. When you receive a new message, a red notification will appear on the icon, so be sure to check it out. Uh, found the OCC? They're walking down the main street. I'll swipe them too. With all that firepower they're carrying, they're pretty hard to miss. They attacked me over here. What? Are you okay? Yeah, there were only a couple of them. Perfect for a bit of rehabil rehabilitation, sorry? Okay, good. If it was us, we would have been screwed. Nice work, Bomber. Luckily, it was just a single attack. And on Bomber at that, but... Make sure to be extra careful of OCT while walking around town. We've got home field advantage. Keep an eye out and choose your path wisely and you'll be fine. Yep. Don't get got, guys. Alright, our objective is still the same. Everyone look out for OCT. So, what do these red points indicate as? I already done that though. Oh, gosh darn it. And head for the meat point in the upper reach region. Alright. Ah, OCT appeared. Ah, is that where they spawn from then? Watch out for OCT. Huh? Those guys. They can only move in set patterns. If you keep an eye on them, you can avoid them. Keep dodging them and hurry to the meat point. The OCT that appear on the map always moves one area per turn. To avoid getting attacked during an enemy's turn, try to keep on moving next to them when unnecessary. Okay. Hmm? Sometimes you'll see a question mark appear on the map. Try heading towards the question mark as you go and see what happens. I'm repeating myself, but to move, yep. You are definitely doing that. This is from my manager's lunch party. It's a total steal. Um, what? I mean, if it's free, I guess I'll take it. Received an ointment sample from a mysterious salesman. If you can now recover two life points, hey, hey, yeah. Leave it alone and the location will update after about three turns, so make sure to try and go for it if you see one close by. Hmm. Yep, definitely an event. Use your remaining AP to make you go walk. Here we go. Oh, it's an enemy, sir. Hmm. Sheesh. The OCT has sealed off the route. I'm going to have to take them all out to keep moving. If I've got no choice but to fight, then I'd better ambush them myself. Indeed. Another new chat message. Let's check it out. Bomber, let me give you a little lesson on urban warfare. What is there that Bomber could possibly learn from us? Battle isn't only about who's stronger or more badass. In urban warfare, it's just as important to use your head. 
if we take OCT head on, we're definitely gonna end up taking some damage. But if we surround them and pull off a siege, we can take them all out at once. Keep that in mind. A siege, huh? You fight pretty dirty, don't you, Python? More like efficiently. Just how did you come up with such dirty air strategies anyway? I'm gonna go ahead and take that as a compliment. Okay, no more dialogue there. In this state, unless Fugo takes some damage and takes out an OCT, you can't move forward. Yes. But if all areas connecting to an enemy area occupied by allies, then a siege is possible. You can take the enemy out as soon as they sir, you also won't take any damage. In this situation, if someone can make it to the area, then a siege is possible, but is there anyone who can make it to the area during this turn? Yes, shrimp can. So you haven't noticed yet, moving to a red area decreases your AP by 2. Also, as the number of enemies on the map decreases, you'll see you'll see more enemies appearing in the red area. Keep an eye on your remaining AP when you pass through. Okay, managed to surround the OCT. The siege worked. Heck yeah, boys. A breakthrough. Nice one, bomber. Yeah, you did it. You already get blank done when the time comes, slug. Hehe. <laughs> Gloomy eccentric slug. It's been about a month since we've met up face to face like this. Although we've talked a lot in chat, glad to see you're doing okay. Yeah, you too. Alright, let's get our asses to the meetup point. That wraps up the basic explanation from here on. Take control of these four and get them all to the central meetup point safely. If even a single one of them runs out of life, that's an automatic game over. Yes, so make sure you have that in mind, folks. You can split them up and have them dodge the OCT, or you can group them up and pull off a siege. It's all up to you. Mm, we have got one remaining life left. Mission open. So it won't be a good idea to um, move them to, let's see, hmm. The goal point is definitely the center there, but we've got to somehow avoid these two and then look out for any possible spawns. So, hmm, well, I think that you will be the most vulnerable because your path is very, very um, linear. Here we go. Okay, excellent. Hmm. Now let's not be... Okay, let's tap on them again. And then... Well, he's the toughest one, so let's do that. Cool. Hmm, a new chat notification. Let's see what's going on. Ah, question mark over there. But they're right next to that, so we can't do that. By the way, the meetup point was in the upper region, right? Yeah. It's at the home of the same old friend who took you guys in. A lot of ex-mafia guys around, huh? Yeah, that sums up most of Python's connections. They've all gone legit now. But don't be screwing around once we hit up the meet point. Hit the meetup point, sorry. We know, okay. Come on, do I look like the kind of guy who would cause problems? I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, possibly, could be. 
Hmm. Right. If we don't move this guy, he's going to be surrounded. But at the same time, we could pull off a siege using both of these characters, but I do need to make you maneuver around. So we'll do that. Hey! You moved right where I wanted you to be. Good, but it did cost him health, though. Cool. Oh, one sport there, the OCT. Okay. So, yeah, we're in a pretty vulnerable situation right now, so we need to move you away from these guys. <clears throat> And then, could we cheat? Oh, we can't do that. Okay, so we'll move you over to... No, wait, hold on. Uh, we'll move you over to here. Good. Lovely. Yeah, that D... That D spawned. Okay. OCT headquarters. 8 a.m. Ah, that little purple demon from last time. Draton. How'd it go? All areas throughout the city are about to go on high alert. Make sure the first attack units don't chase the targets too deep. Until we've secured a perimeter, stay cool and keep putting the pressure on them. If you see Noel, Charon or Oscar, the same goes for them. They'll be absorbed into our strategy. Oh dear, this guy again. OCT Major Unit 1 Captain Draton Bergman. Okay. Oh. Ah ha 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 ha, you spicer again. I was just messing with you. Excuse me. Spicer Unit, well, he's boring. Rebellio, this isn't preschool. Keep the kids in line. Knock off his stupid stuff, Spicer. It's not my fault everyone's busy around and this is so boring. Now keep him up. Devil of death, Spicer. Looks young, but is probably very, very old. I'm off to the assault. This is urban warfare. We can't bring a demon like you out of this. You just got your ass handed to you by Noel and Co. yesterday. Take the day off and play with me. You know that's not how this works, demon. This guy has to make up for yesterday's screw up. I told you right, Rebellio. Your fair fight with honor was only gonna fly once. I know. There are two reasons a punk like you is able to take over as captain. One, the demon spicer can only be controlled by you as per the contract. And two, demon admin code living dead. The usefulness in battle of being able to take advantage of the immortal body because of that, right? OCT 2nd Lieutenant Unit 3 Captain, Rebellio Strada. Yeah, I know it's not how you like to fight, but... What the heck? Even this anti-terrorist guy is a demon too? Hey, Whiskers! Only I'm allowed to mess with Rebellio. I just gave him a little tap doesn't cost you anything. Well, isn't that a nasty development? Ooh, uh. You awake now? That's your biggest strength. With your power, we could strap some dynamite to your chest and have you blow the targets to bits. 
Instead of us living dead, I'll let you fight as a human once. But you let Noel get away at the checkpoint. Your chances are all spent. I said I know. Okay then, go. Go out with the assault forces and patrol the city. <laughs> Whatever, living dead my ass. Uh, what the hell? I'm all by myself. Well, I have no regrets, but in town, I can't go use a demon now, can I? Keep quiet and wait inside. It's going to be trouble if the mayor sees you. Damn it. I'm so bored. <laughs> that person isn't here either. <laughs> you mean Lieutenant Lurch Mari? She's not going to be joining the city assault. She's on logistical support. But also, hey, you better stop calling her that name. A blank is a blank. The blank is kind, and her reactions are funny, so I like her. Whatever. Demon admin code living dead, huh? I made a contract with Spicer and become a demon. In this country, contracts with demons are forbidden. Of course, I thought I'd be removed from the OCT and tossed into prison. But no, here I am. I was assigned this demon admin code and was actually promoted. Even Spicer has been accepted. Lots of developments since Season 8. Of course, I'm thankful, but... I simply don't know till then that the OCT had units that requires demons. The units that were all sent to Laplace, they're all like that. While it may be an anti-terror special unit, it's still the national military. There's something going on deep down inside the OCT. Something dark and evil. I can feel it. Well, it's not like I'm having any regrets, at least. If you say so, man. Let's keep going. Hmm. We can get the bomber man to safety. Yes, I understand. Um, I have to do it like this. Okay. Let's get him to safety. Enemy turn. We're both in the same area. Nice. Rebulio. Rebulio is a captain, being a demon, accompanied by several soldiers in tow. No one coming in contact with him could survive. Sieges won't work either. Keep your distance and make sure not to bump into him. Okay, then. It looks like I'm going to have to take a longer approach. Hmm. Gosh. Remember that game Advance Wars? It's kind of like that right now. Um... These two need to react when a, an approach happens, so we're going to move you for now up this way. And then we're going to move... Actually, you know what? We'll enter. Damn it. You just had to, didn't you? VOCT. Something over there. Right. Good. I thought that I thought a siege doesn't. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Chat notification. Hey, C Python. I kind of like to hear about the guys at the steel mill. Yeah. All right. There's nothing to hide now. Till now, I. 
kept in contact with everyone from the steel mill after the misty incident and after they took the steel mill too uh-huh recently we'd been keeping in touch less and less then about two weeks ago i wasn't able to get hold of any of them i just hope they didn't get caught up in any slum hunting bs most of them probably managed to get out of there though but we're talking about the military so who knows even we got stopped up yeah huh even more reason we can't let ourselves get spooked by the OCT. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is becoming increasingly more difficult. Cool. That's maneuvered him out of danger. Cool. That's fine. Get him away from there. You can go there. And then you can go here. Okay, they're making their move. We also two. And that's gone. Okay. We can do this, actually. We can get everyone to the save point. Here we go. We did it. Mission accomplished. Total life bonus 10p. That's currency. There, there's no way to automatically perform a siege, though. Hmm. The mayor's residence, 1215. Interlude. The tyrant mayor. Burrows. Laplace Mayor, the young hero, question mark, Russell Burrows. Lucy. Hello, Mayor Burrows. I don't recall having a meeting scheduled with you, Lieutenant. Well, it's nothing too important. I don't have much to do today, so on my lunch break, I thought I'd get to know a mayor a little better. Another OCT character. There's too many characters in this game to keep up with. Lucy Mari. Even if it's with OCT, I told security to turn away any unscheduled meetings. What's going on? I brought lunch at a bakery down the hill. Please go on and have some. Hmm. Wow, that's good. I found a pretty good place here in La Place. So how's the mission that began this morning going? So you do want to know, huh? I've given permission for urban warfare. It's bound to affect my approval rating. From first thing in the morning, people were driven out of the designated areas without even being told the facility reason at that. Sorry, but this is the Major's plan. If you publicize the actual reason, people are going to get hurt. Yeah, but now, if things go as well as the checkpoint yesterday, we'll be laughed at. Hey, is this supposed to be a joke? Don't get the Major mixed up with the Lieutenant. You know about Major Draton Bergman, right? A.K.A. of a Demon General? While his methods may be problematic, he always kills his target. Yes, I myself haven't fought with him that many times. But between you and me, to be honest, that guy... He's on another level from the other soldiers and whatnot. So you're saying he's literally like a demon? No, he's more like the embodiment of war itself. Demon of war, then. I understand if someone just likes going into battle, but the Major, he's different. He's a true patriot. He puts his own version of justice above all else. He has no blind spots, no weaknesses. Get in his way and be you friend or foe. 
Once he's done fighting, there's nothing but scorched earth. The city is sure to have a few, no, a large number of casualties. But the mission is sure to be a success. I've heard the rumors. But if even this idiot woman is saying stuff like this. By the way, it's pretty quiet in here, huh? Well, it's a private room. Oh yeah? So it is. Sibylla Becker is no longer with us, is she? Ooh. I've heard she was a really good secretary. I wonder why she had to die. I have no idea why you went and looked into that, but... After going missing, Becker was found dead in the harbour. Wasn't that from, like, uh, season one or two? The police said that from the bullet wound in her head. It's safe to say that she must have gotten mixed up in something. So it was probably some mafia straggler bent on revenge against me who did it. It was a terrible shame, and I still mourn her loss. Oh no, that's not what I meant. What? What I meant was, why did you kill her? I don't know what you mean. Hee <laughs> hee, it's okay, Mayor Burrows. You can drop the act. The shipping company Aquarius. I know they've been smuggling arms from a foreign military contractor, and that you're their CEO, and that your father, the former mayor Elado, is connected, and that Sabella Becco used this casino Misty to move money between you and the CEO. I took it upon myself to look into all that stuff. Just what are you? What do you want? Just what I've been asking. I want to know why you killed Sibella Becco. Apparently you kill people to bury evidence all the time, so... You relied a lot on Sibella Becco. She was smart and loyal, and it would have been hard to let her go. Or maybe it was later on. Like season 6 when we crashed casino. If she just made a simple mistake, she could have just been retort. So there must have been a reason for you to go so far with her. So, why'd you kill her off so easily? Was it because of what she knew? Sibella Becco knew some important secret? So you had to keep her quiet, is that it? You know, whatever you're trying to do with this city, I don't care. For why is it meant to exploit the stupid? I mean, compared to that annoying Noel Kirkwit. I like you better, since you do things the grown-up way. Anyway, it doesn't have to be today. Next time, let me know when you feel like it, okay? Tell me about whatever it is in the shadows of the place. That's more important than human life. Really? <laughs> the bullet, it froze. So you're a demon, Luce Mari. I knew those words would get a reaction. It's okay. As for what exactly the shadows of the place are, no matter where I looked, I couldn't find anything. What I did find out was that you're trying to protect and to hide it. That, and that it's been passed down through generations as a national secret in this city. That's all. Well, I just stopped by for lunch to get to know you better, so I'll be leaving now. Also, I know your secret, and I can also help you out. I hope we can get nice and cosy from here on out, Mayor Burrows. Oh, one more thing. When I got here, I made a bit of a mess in the hall. You might want to get that cleaned up. No unannounced appointments. <laughs> Discourse on the enemy court. Well, that was it then. 
I was wondering how she'd slipped past security. She didn't slip past them at all. She killed them. That filthy hyena. Nothing is more important than keeping secrets. Well, I guess I have no choice now. Yeah, how are you going to bury them to cover your reputation, fool? Upper region outskirts. Main part! So this is the house, huh? Yes? The password is Verdi. Enter. You're last. The last one has arrived. Hey, bomber! Rude, Captain. From Toad. This path month has taken its toll on you. Can you breathe okay? Cunning X Mafia Python. We meet again, Bomber. So the intro cutscene, was that the prequel to all of this? That was that slug right there, and he was the other guy that we saw. Yeah. We got OCT all over the place though. Looks like everyone did good. You know, they seemed less wild than before. Back in the shipping yard, they were seriously unhinged. Just like Bomber said, we need to keep on moving. But, you know, it was still pretty risky. You are able to say that because we made it. And honestly, the team leader is getting ahead of himself. What the hell? You've got a problem, huh? No, no, it's just my opinion as an outsider. Let you guys use this house as a one-time only thing, okay? We're even now, Laro. Yeah, thanks for the help, Marco. What is it, Marco? So, <laughs> so, so, Laro. Sorry for coming to you. I know you're legit now. With a city in this shape, not even the slums are safe anymore. So I figured getting together in a nicer area would keep us safer from the OCT. Until a few years ago, we were Russo family members, and you've helped me out a lot. But now I've got a new family. I can't help you with your tightrope act anymore. Python's ex-mafia buddies. They're all over the place in the place. Python being well known was a big help. Okay, we're all here now. So that's one step out of the way. Let's take a little break. A break? This isn't the time for relaxing. We've got to prepare for the next mission. I'm not relaxing. We made it here by constantly dodging the OCT. Everyone is exhausted, especially you with that handicap. Don't bother hiding it. Your breathing is labored. Fine. Just a quick break, though. He's eager to get things moving, our friend is. Listen to everyone. Chef! It's our first time moving the character as well, I think. Like, on the game, not, like, from a, another perspective. Sorry for using your place as a meetup point. It really helps, though. Don't worry. We'll leave soon. Yeah, please do. Don't screw up and blow up my house either. My wife will kill me. Apparently you're ex-mafia. But you've gone straight now, huh? I'm done with the Russo family, the rules, and got completely out of the underground. Laro became Python, and I got me a girl. The format may vary, but now everyone's got their own new families. Hmm. Huh? Wait, who's Python's family? Well, the game from the steel mill, of course. Now I've got no idea how you all do things, but those guys, they've all teamed up together with you, right? If you're running things, make sure to take care of those guys. Don't keep things all bottled up. Indeed, boss. I've never been holed up for a whole month before. It must have been hard. Yeah, we both had it rough. I mean, I guess so, but as for me, I like staying in and keeping quiet. Oh yeah? Yeah, I guess so. You do, don't you? I'd totally forgotten about it recently, but it's been a while since we've gotten mixed up like this. Huh. Yeah? 
I'm impressed that you've stuck with the mission so far. Nobody was forcing you, right? Yeah. Ever since the fight at the Aishi Fortress, every day has been kind of a blur, but still, it's way more fun than being back in the facility. I may not look like it, but I'm actually pretty pumped. You know, sticking with you was a good idea after all. That was him at the beginning. I thought he looked familiar. Hmm, I see. Hey, don't say stuff like that on my account. Just think about yourself and keep on going forward. And you, Toad? Damn, what a big ass house. Yeah, it really feels like a rich person's house. I mean, it is in the upper region, so no duh. I wonder if Noelle's house is like this too. Similar. No, I bet Noelle's house is like a way bigger mansion. But damn. Even a girl from a proper rich family could end up like that, I guess. In that case, I guess it doesn't make any difference if my parents are rich or not. Yeah, that's just how you are. Last but not least, Python. We both started out as Rosso, but now he has a mansion in the upper region. I'll always just be a lowly gangster. You also got that smart brain of yours though, Python. Oh well, that's just the sad reality, I guess. What the hell are you talking about? You could have easily bought a house too. Yeah, I don't know about that. Of course, I could have do gone down that path, but... Realistically, even if I managed to get some money, I don't know if I would have been happy with that. You know, you look like you've got your blank together, but you're all messed up on the inside. It's not me who's messed up. It's this town where nobody can amount to anything. Oh yeah? You would think that way, huh? Yay! One bonus for just doing the objective. Cool. By work, that meant- they meant cleaning? <laughs> that and grocery shopping. This really is blank work. Whatever. Nothing I can do about it. I'm a newbie after all. And it's peaceful here. But like, why are you here doing the blank work with me? Uh, I'm also new here, so... Huh? But Lara said you were my superior. I came here about a week or so before you. So she's my superior by a week? Well, I mean, she's still been here longer than me, I guess. Um, clean a little better. Laro, he's really picky about cleaning. If you just do it quickly like that, he won't ever let you do anything else. Put some effort into it, Agatha. Fugo. Mm, good work. Like... Seriously? Huh? Oh. Um, would you like some water? Here you go, please drink up. Uh, thanks. So, uh, what do you guys want? Hmm? Well, nothing really. Then why are you hanging around here like that? It's creeping me out. No, it's just... We thought maybe there was something we could help out with. We, uh... We stay here a lot, for free, and... We're new here, so... Okay, look, don't bother with that kind of stuff. This is just an abandoned building. I don't own it or anything. Thank you. Listen. I'm not here to look after you two. And the others... They're all here on their own violation. I just let them do what they want because it's a blank to keep kicking people out. I know what Lara said, but the same goes for everyone. You gotta look after yourselves. Get back into your heads. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't come here to be Fugo's henchman. I came here so I could be like him. Gotta get my blank together. Thank you. 
Sheesh, just how many of them are here? Looks like Lara and them are out of the city. Bomber's henchmen think they're badass, screw these jabronis. Creep, I'm stuck. Hehe, <laughs> we got you now. You look like you'd be quick to throw down, but you run away like a blank. Go run back to mommy like a little punk. Screw you. You idiots think you can judge a book by its cover? You losers don't know blank. What did you say, you little punk? Get some bass in your voice now, huh? Getting some bass, sorry. This town isn't a place for little blanks to be getting all high and mighty. We've got X Mafia backing us up, you know? Azalem from Bianco. You gonna talk blank to him? Hmm. Hi there. What? Zoe? I, I didn't know you had it in you. There's another one, you little blank. We, we're, we're not just henchmen. Don't go equating us with losers like you, acting like goldfish turds for some big shot. Goldfish turds. You little blank, I'm gonna... No. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> That's Bomber Man. Sup. Don't be stirring up trouble over stupid stuff. We don't need a cop's eyeballing us. Sheesh. Don't think this is over. Loser up top. Losers down below. We... We didn't need your help. This was... Just my... Those guys were messing with you out in town, yeah? Feel free to fight back if someone starts something. But those guys... They work for X Mafia, you know. Be careful. Be careful? That sounds like... Like you're actually worried about us, right? I said I wasn't going to be looking after you. I did it because I don't like those guys. That's all. Fugo? Thank you. You two. You might not look like much, but... Nope. Never mind. Next time some losers like that mess with you, handle it yourselves. Yeah, that's what's up. Got it. Jump into between different timelines here, or time zones. Lovely. Hey. Wake up. Slug, wake up. Huh? Slug, you're finally awake. It's about time. Break's over. Time for a strategy meeting. Damn it. Okay, fine. Alright, I guess it is pretty important. A dream? That was like a nostalgic dream. But this isn't the time for that. Gotta wake up and focus. The place is overrun with OCT. And we gotta figure out how to meet up with Noel and co. Noel. Charon. Oscar. You can't get hold of anyone? How about the smartphone? No, I tried contacting Oscar several times but no dice. I'm pretty sure he must have gotten taken in or something and lost his smartphone. It's not really the time to be out looking around either. Maybe if I go around blowing stuff up they'll notice. That's like the first thing we fought with them. <laughs> nice, the OTT is gonna blank their pants. Mayor Boas obviously knows Noel is back. Do anything flashy and we're gonna get found. Like laying bombs. Bomber, let me come up with something. One more time. What do you mean, one more time? That's not like you. Right now, you're not in the greatest physical condition. Us three are the only ones left from the steel mill. And we're in the minority. We've got no base. And the enemy is all over the place. Put simply, our chances of winning are slim. What are you trying to say? We should rethink the timing of our next move. Seriously, Python? That's not like you. 
I've been with Bomber for a long time myself. I got nothing but respect for that energy. But at this rate, not only the guys from the steel mill, but Noel and them too may be impossible to hook up with. Of course it's up to Bomber though. Hey, you guys, look outside. What's up? It's the OCT. And for the upper region, there's a lot of them. We don't usually come around here in these numbers. What? Have they found us? No. They seem too calm from there. If they'd found us, they'd be more like OCT emergency procedures or something. More amped up, you know. Yeah, they don't seem like they're about to go into battle mode. But there are more of them. On our way here, we had several run-ins with the OCT. They must have analysed the times and locations where they saw us, and used that info to figure out where we'd be now. Huh? See? Energy alone will get you anywhere. Times like this, you need Laro to stay cool, right? But even so, we've been sticking around for too long, so we might do. So we've got to get moving or we're screwed. If we sit here and do nothing, we'll fall right into the OCT and Bowers' hands. Am I wrong? Okay. If that's your decision, then I'm going to support it. It's okay, Python. Bomber has always come through like this. He always has, through thick and thin. We'll be able to get past the OCT. Let's do it. Like in Season 1 and 2, these guys were like our enemies. Yeah, let's go full on and scare the blank out of those blanks. Yeah. Let's move. Let's get out of here before we're locked in. But how are we gonna do this? If we were to move, where would we go? Well, we weren't able to work out the next mission, but for now I want to stay hidden. The worst case scenario would be this whole area getting locked down and us getting shut in here. It'll be the shipping yard all over again. In that case, anywhere is okay if the OCT doesn't find us. Yeah, we're going to move as quickly and as far away as possible. If I use the smart glasses for heat detection, I can tell whether the uh, OCT close by or not. I'll try to cut out a safe path. Yeah. Glad this is the kind of mission I can get down with. Oh yeah. In times like this, your smart glasses can actually help. What do you mean in times like this? <laughs> get away from here. It looks like OCT have been concentrating in this area. If this area gets locked down, you're screwed. Check the heat sensor displayed at the top of the screen. Yes, yeah, green at the moment, so it's okay. Choose a route with no OCT and leave the area. However, the heat sensor will react not only to OCT, but animals, machines, and other things giving off heat. To tell if a sensor is picking up heat from OCT or something else, check it out visually. And keep an eye out for safe routes. Yeah, that's a cat. Um, move on. Nope. Move on. Oh, don't want to go right, that's for sure. Um, yes. That's a cat. Think about it. It's nice that there are other things that can actually um, pick up. It's not just so much as is a nice thing. Move on. Like it picks up animals and machines. So that's brilliant. It's a nice little challenge there.
What's up, Python? It's been a little too quiet. It's weird. Huh? What is it now? There's a subway station close by here. It's kind of half closed off. But there's an old underground shopping arcade. And yet, there should be more people around. I'm using the smart glass to check the heat sources, but there's nothing. Now that I think about it, not only is nobody around, but I can't hear a thing. Y you know, for evening, in the middle of town, this is... Like, maybe we've already entered the area, the OCT shut off. Nope. Damn. You didn't enter it, pal. You were lured in. What? The OCT? No way. Where'd they come from? There are no heat signatures from any of the buildings. With amateur heat sensors like that, all we need is a single piece of equipment to track it. I see. Going up against the military. I guess these things happen. What the hell is going on? We moved around until total cover. There's no way we could have been ambushed. It's simple. This morning, we weren't even looking for you. We were relocating our soldiers on where you might have been. We simply lured you in. So I guess we were right in the palm of your hand. We messed up. I'm anti-terrorist unit OCT Major, and also currently Laplace Special Forces Unit Captain Drayton Bergman. In the name of the OCT, I'm removing your asses from Laplace. I don't think so. But we're screwed, Bomber. It's not just this unit. They've got way more men than we do. Yeah, one false move and we're going to get gunned down. Heh. <laughs> Huh? Stun grenade? What? What the hell? They've got us surrounded and have their guard down. This is the perfect time. Just as I'd planned it. What What happened? Python went for it. Bomber... Sorry, Bomber must... <laughs> Bomber went for it. Bomber must have gotten off with the captain. Yeah, not even the captain could do anything to stop a fire attack like Bomber's. Nice! No, not really. Flames won't work on my red hot equipment. Huh? That wasn't Bomber? Huh? An iron wall? It can't be. You're a demon. He just shook off my all out attack with the same heat. Sorry, the same heat based power as mine. Gah. Bomber! What the hell? Why is there a demon in the National Guard? The, the other soldiers. Why are they acting like nothing happened? They're fine with a little explosion or two. And they'll go right for the opposing leader. That was a nice little show. But I give you zero points. Hmm. What? Anyone can suddenly throw a stun grenade and, you know, stun someone. But even if you were able to get me, that would have started a full-on shootout. You, along with those three idiots who just ate a stun grenade at close range. You think you can take on all these armed soldiers surrounding you? Don't just look at the pawns in front of you. Look at the entire chessboard. I wonder if there's going to be anybody else that's going to save us. So did a weirdo loner, who could only play rough, really make a contract with a demon in search of for power? Gah. But Bomber, if you'd been planning this, you could have signaled us for help. Heh. <laughs> Is this really the bomb demon that everyone was all up about? Just an idiot kid who jumps on anyone that crosses their path. Do your idiot lackeys understand what's going on? Why you're helping Noel?
fighting and moving and whatnot. Are these losers all caught up in your little buzzwords? Are you a terrorist or a gang leader? I can't even tell. You just look like a little punk to me. What the hell did you just say? You don't know blank about Bomber. Who the hell do you think you are? Back off, slug. Hold it back. This isn't the Mafia or one of those mayor's goons. It's the National Guard, so demon or not, as long as we don't fight back, they can't attack us any further. Gah! Bomber. You okay with this? Letting someone, so, letting some blank like this guy talk to you like that? The bomber Hey, punk. Let me tell you something. Putting yourself on the battlefield legally, getting the shield of the law, the sword of military power, and the right to use them, that is true power. What the hell? Hmm. Even my ears plugged, that's loud. Since we're talking about bomber here, in an unfortunate accident, there could have been a gas explosion or something, collapsing the whole scene of the underground shopping arcade. It could happen. Isn't that right? Living dead. What's this gas explosion BS? You made me clear the whole area, set up a bomb first thing in the morning, and called it a gas explosion? I mean, did that not just kill them just now? It looks like it, but the floor simply gave out. They're probably weakened from the fall. But don't underestimate them. Up top, where anyone could be watching, we can't just shoot captives in the street. And so that's why you... An immortal and a demon. Go down underground where nobody's watching and deliver the killing blow. The other units will seal off the entrances and exits. Keep an eye on the building and if possible keep on moving. I may be immortal, but I won't be able to move if I'm burned alive. If a hole collapses part way through, make sure to come and get me out. If you're not back after three days, I'll try to remember. Yep, everyone is just pawns for this mayor guy. Major guy. Yeah, we finally took Dratton down. Gah, but we too are. This is a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, I'm at my limit. Hey, you guys, stay with me. Thanks for everything, Bomber. This is it for us. So, since it's the end, let me ask you. Yeah, me too. I want to hear it so I can die in peace. But what is it? What do you want to ask? Well, Bomber. Why do you fight? Well, we all ended up down here. Somehow. Gah. Where am I? Oh yeah, in the blast where floor gave out. Gosh, that means... No way, I fell from up above. Sheesh, just as I thought. Everything's all messed up. Kind of feels like I'm in a, I'm in a nightmare. I think I can walk. I've got no idea where the hell I am, but first I've got to wake them up. That's definitely a plan. Definitely a plan, Fugo. Toad. Ugh. Bomber. Is that you? Are you okay? Have a moment. It doesn't like the OCT is nearby. Ah. Okay, that explosion. Heh. <laughs> Getting done an explosion. That's not like you, Bomber. Shut up. You wait there. I'll go wake up the others. Python. Ugh. Where the hell am I? Somewhere deep down. Not six foot, but probably fifty foot down. The explosion knocked out the floor, and apparently we fell down here. Are you okay? Ugh. Mm. Looks like my arm is messed up. My legs seem okay. 
Okay, that's good. You wait here, I'll go wake up the others. Slug. Ugh. Ah, bomber. Looks like we fell pretty far, huh? You okay? Considering I fell all the way down here with the rubble, I'm okay. This place. Is this the underground shopping arcade Python mentioned? Probably, yeah. For the National Guard, that was pretty dirty. Looks like we're not all dead. But, not really in fighting condition either. It's a miracle that we all survived. Pfft, that blank really screwed us. This is the Melo, so the, the Meloy underground shopping area. It's all old and tattered, and all the people and shops moved to the business district. So now most of the tenants have left, sorry, have let the place fall into ruin. So, he planned to drop us down here all along. Son of a blank. Screw me over with a bomb like that. He's gonna regret it. But what do we do? I mean, he's a demon too. Your attack, it didn't even work on him. I know. That's what I've got to figure out now. So don't give up. Y yeah. If we give up now, then it's all over. Oh. Bomber, heads up! Rubble! Ah. Hey, are you two okay? Good for you notice, Slug. That was dangerous. Ooh. But you were hit pretty bad. Slug, you're injured! I, I'm sorry. Looks like I got stuck with that steel beam. You got stabbed? That's a lot of blood. Okay, let's take a rest somewhere quiet and safe. Mm-hmm. No good, my friend. No good. The wound looks deeper than I thought. For now, we've got to stop the bleeding and get some rest. I'm sorry for holding you back. You idiot. Why the hell are you apologizing? Without you, I'd be skewed on some steel beams right about now. But rest. How are we supposed to do that with all this stuff going on? I want to know what the OCT is up to. Whether we move or hide depends on them. Them, sorry. In that case, I'll go do some recon and search for medicine and bandages. You all stay here. I'm still mobile too. No, it's my fault. I'll go alone. You all rest here while you can. Why do you keep trying to fight on your own? Are we just holding you back or something? No, that's not it. Okay then, we'll split into two groups. If Bomber's going out on recon, I'll go too. I'll need to be there for support in case the blank goes down. Also, Toad, you better stay here and watch over Slug. If the OCT shows up, take Slug and hide. My arm is broken, I won't be able to. Okay, I'll stay back. But seriously, are you okay, Python? I'm pretty far from okay, but it's not as bad as Slug. Okay, let's go. That is definitely a big yikes, Captain. <laughs> Little devil portable vending machine. If it's still working, then that's perfect. Bye. Hmm. Two ointments. Okay. Definitely a shallow place. It's pretty dark. It looks like the sun's gone down, but... I know. If we turn on the lights, they'll find us. Let's keep going like this. Yep. Good night. Damn. This is pretty messed up. Honestly, it could collapse at any second. Watch your step and your head. I'd like to get to that box set somehow. Here we go. I thought about something in there. Anointment. I love... Oh. The OCT. I can't fight like this. I gotta hide. 
Oh dear, hide from OCT. Luckily, it looks like we haven't noticed you yet. We're now hiding the shadows and wait for the OCT to pass. Also, sound really carries here in the quiet underground shopping area. When the OCT gets close, don't move is displayed. One single move will get you killed. Mm hmm. Okay, so you initiated that the instant, the instant. So, literally, you told us to not move, but yet... Okay. Telling us not to move, but... Well, that's good. Looks like they're gone. Looks like it. That was a close one. We've got to avoid fighting, fighting them for now. Fighting and escaping while carrying slug. That's impossible. Also, you're all pretty badly injured, too. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Breaking a bone hurts more than you think. On the upper floor, there'll probably be more of them. What do we do? If we just sit here, they're bound to find us. We'll keep going. Okay. Observe the OCT's movements. Yeah, that's a good shout. A very good shout. Okay, so we can't go right. Rubble there. But we can't go... Oh, gosh. OCT. B3 was destroyed, and since the floor may collapse, it seems impossible to search. We'll need living dead to search the area. Okay, let's get it done. Living dead? What the hell is that? No idea. Maybe it's that guy's nickname. Let's follow him. If we're lucky, we may be able to figure out the OCT's plans. If we're going to keep moving anyway, it's all the same. Okay, let's follow him. Yep, let's keep moving. Cool. There's that little thing. Hmm. Oh, there's still... Okay. There's still that item over there we can get. But... It's all about how that patrol acts. Yeah. There's no way we can get over there. Like, I think that's just... <laughs> that's just teasing us. Yeah, there's definitely no path down there. So there's got to be some other way in which we can get over there. But we can't do that right now. Goodness sakes, game. Why do you want for moose? With all of that. With all of that said and done. You know, literally, there's no way of getting across there. So that's bomber. Hmm? That toad. In her own way, she's got high expectations of you. So she really just wants to help you out any way she can. Slug and me, we feel the same way. On our own, we don't have the power you have, plus everyone's injured now too. But even so, the least we can do is offer our support. We don't want to hold you back over some little injuries. So, go ahead and use us where you can. Whatever anyone else may say, we trust you. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, that does kind of suck. Like, how are we supposed to get over there if they're just standing there? Oh my gosh, if we're too close... To... How are we supposed to get past here? Like, if we go that way, we're screwed. If we go up that way, we're screwed. Oh, for the sakes. Like, this game is purposely made to be impossible at some point. <laughs> no, there's got to be some other strategy to this.
That one there. Just stay there. Hey, I heard you've been looking for me. Lieutenant Strada. Don't say my name. The rules say that you have to use the demon admin code when we're outside. Oh, that's right. My apologies. Spicer will be arriving shortly. I'll let you to come pick him up. Ah, okay. I'll go pick him up before he goes off on his own. So that's the strategy. Don't go down there. Well, that was close. If they'd look over this way, we would have been screwed. Seriously, this is bad for my heart. But hey, did you hear that, Python? Yeah. Use the demon admin code outside. That sounded important. What does it mean? Have they started using demons? It's bigger than that. They use the word rule. So for that unit, at the very least, it means demons are officially accepted now. But they're the National Guard. I don't get it. I suppose they'll use anything to their disposal to get rid of the... the quote-unquote terrorists. That Spicer they mentioned. That may be a demon too. We'd better find out just what they are. Yeah, so the previous area was purposely made to be impossible. And that guard is still over there, so we can't get to that ointment. Like, get too close to it, and that's just that. Okay? Okay. Okay, so this is the other side from where we started, so there's no point in trying to go down there. What about up here? Oh, this is the other side, actually. This works out well. This is the exit. It's probably sealed off and I can't just leave Slug behind. Exactly, friend. Ah, that's Spicer. Don't, sheesh, the floor is crumbling. It makes me noise. It's making noise. Just stay where that box is. Just stay at the box. Well, that's damned. Living Dead has arrived. Hello. The one with the beard. You really messed Blank up, huh? It's for the sake of a mission. Okay? Bring the entry team back in and watch your heads. Got it. I'll leave the rest to you, so be careful. Hehe. <laughs> you worried about the dude with the beard? Forget those guys. How are your buddies doing? You getting all nostalgic and fighting with Noel and them? That's got nothing to do with me. Is that supposed to be sarcasm? Without proper reason, I can't talk about other me unit members to those with admin codes. So you're trying to kill those who cooperate with their friends to go up against the bad guys. Right now, you're on the side of the old me and that demon. How does that feel? I'm OCT. It's not like that. Yeah, it is living demon. So living dead. You're just being used. You're nothing but a monster now. Your name, your friends. There's no going back to how they were before. For now, for all eternity. From now, for all eternity, sorry. You too get to taste solitude as a monster. You too? Enough talk. You head left from B1. In 20 minutes, we'll meet up again here. Sure. Just as boring as always, I see. I don't want anyone else to die. I wasn't able to stop Noel, so I'm going to have to do some convincing. Mm hmm. So, they didn't see you. I had luck on my side. So, the captain who fought Noel, that's him, huh? Dratton looked a little different, but... We've got to stay sharp. There seems to be something strange going on, but he's definitely an OCT officer. Also, I don't think Spicer was an actual demon. 
Yeah, if they catch us, we're screwed. That's enough recon for now. It's clear that we're gonna have to avoid fighting. We didn't find any medicine, but we've gotta keep gotta get back and keep moving. Yeah, boys. Oh, we go back automatically, okay. Or maybe something else went down. Went down in base. Here we are. Why did Bomber go off and do that alone? Huh? Tossing the stun grenade back up above. He should have told us he had something like that. We could have taken on the surrounding OCT too. You know, I... I just had a nostalgic dream. Huh? A dream? A dream about long ago. Back when we were still Agatha and Zoe. You used to help me out. Doing chores for me. Dealing with Bomber. Huh? <laughs> that takes me back. Like that time when those punks came at us and Bomber helped us out. Huh. <laughs> oh yeah. And that got me thinking. Back when we first started looking up to Bomber. I can't remember what he was like back then. Back in these old days. Zoe? Huh? Agatha? What are you doing here? Oh. Are you sleeping here tonight too? I guess I'd start using bombs like Fugo, you know. I'm researching them. They say spray cans explode easily, right? Though, so thought maybe I could use, I could make a bomb with one of these. Agatha, you want to use bombs? Not exactly want to, but if, but if I had some bombs, I could do stuff like what happened the other day. If people stopped messing with us, we'd have less pointless fights. You want? To fight this? That doesn't sound like you. By the way, why are you here again? You don't look like a gangster. I... I'm here to resist. Since I was small, my parents would make me steal and do, like, all kinds of bad things. If I talked back, they punished me really harshly. The other grown-ups and around sorry and the police they pretended didn't notice and nobody would help me if i stayed there zoe tasker's life would have been over so before that happened i decided to fight back against this town i wanted to fight back with power like bomber that's messed up you came here running from something too right i i'm not running for anything i just decided to leave a facility <laughs> Whatever. There was no place for me in the facility anyway. Well, I have it. Okay. And when I was a kid, she got arrested for stabbing a dude. And so, at the facility, they called me the murderer's kid. It was an uncomfortable fare. At first, I just ignored it, but it got more and more annoying. I mean, I didn't do anything personally. And I just wanted to live in peace, and it made no damn sense. So, I punched him all in the mouth and just up and left. Agatha, you're tough. If these scars are going to remain no matter what, then if I stay strong and keep resisting to the end, I'm not tough. Just trying hard to ignore it would, ex would have exhausted me. And because of that, I got this gangster looking scar on my face. If only I could have just stayed quiet and avoided getting hit. I just want to live more peacefully. I want to be like Fugo. I want to live my own life like my... Sorry, I want to live my own life my own way like Fugo. That's why I'm here. I don't want BS I can't do anything about to get in my way. Yeah, just like Fugo. I want to be able to resist. I want to say no when I don't like something and be able to fight. Well then, do it. Laro? S sorry, were we too loud? 
but this isn't my house, so I'm not going to tell you to keep quiet, Zoe. I told you to stop apologizing for everything. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but you two, you're free from your old lives now, so live your lives how you want to. You know what? A long time ago, there was a young man who started up a company, but he was young and reckless, and he broke the unspoken rules of business in this town, and got picked up by the Mafia. He was told he could either take a blood oath or get tossed into the sea. Well, life in the Mafia wasn't so bad, and he had decided to make that life so he he decided to make <laughs> he had decided to make that his new life, but when the Rosso family was wiped out, so were his plans. Was you that guy? He had nothing to leave his mark on the world, and he couldn't return to a normal life. Wow, look at that tattoo. It's full body. Don't give up so easily. You've experienced so much. You can do anything from here on out. Don't worry. Now I'm leading my new life. Right before my eyes, there's a younger demon. Clumsy but powerful and alive. It's not the time to be rotten away. I was forced to learn that. You two. It's not like you want to be good kids now, right? So live how you want to live. You guys are all similar. Huh? Fugo? Yeah, duh. Ah, you're not wearing your mask. Were you? Up top, yeah. I'm always up top, feeling the breeze. You're the ones who started talking without noticing me. I'm so embarrassed. Why the hell are you embarrassed? I'm basically the same as you lot. The same? Oh yeah, those burns. Just like us, Fugo also carries the scars of something he can't change. So we're the same. What's that called again? Uh, I read about it in the book. That thing's overseas. It seems applicable. Oh yeah. Trimelia. That word. Loro is quick and... So it's clever and quick thinking, so Python. Oh, I get it. Zoe is kind of gloomy now, so... No, wait. Actually, the opposite. Agatha wants to be gloomy and gives off an aura of gloominess, so slug. Gloomy? Also, since Zoe wants to be bad but kind of curls herself up, so toad. You got a husky voice and a dirty mouth, so it fits. I, I want to be bad? I don't think... No, it's perfect. How about you guys use these as code names? You've been talking about the past and stuff, and that's kind of a downer, so how about taking on new names? Your real names will just make you remember stuff you don't want to. Maybe now you can forget those things. New names? Also, people already know who I am, but if you hide your names before people find out who you are, it could be useful. Oh, I'm sleepy. Okay, then. I'm, g I'm going to bed. Good advice there, Bomber. Very good advice. For somebody who's more bottom-heavy, that's pretty good advice. Since Bomber, with the same scars as me, gave me a new name, I felt more confident that it was okay for me to be there. I didn't have to try too hard to be accepted. It was okay to be a normal, quiet slug. Yeah, thinking back, those new names, they may have helped to bring out the real us. Bomber may not have been thinking that deeply about it though. Then for the first time, I was able to feel like I was the same. Yeah, we're the same. Slug, you still alive? Bomber! I couldn't find any medicine, but the recon went well. We should probably move. This name, it makes you and me the same. Right, Bomber. 
too much thinking involved there, lad. A demon and a great devil. Even if we weren't injured, we can't fight against that. No way. But that doesn't matter. Resistance. I'll keep an eye on the outside. If they get the drop on us, we're screwed. You guys, get ready to move. Okay. But hey, don't overexert yourself. I know. Explore the underground area. Explore the underground area. Whether they come with a demon or a great devil, I'm not just going to sit here and take it. Bomber, we're going to make it through this. <laughs> Sorry. I'll get moving soon. You don't need to wait for me. I'm so I couldn't offer enough support. I'm thinking of what to do next. Wait just a little bit. Strategy. Phew. Finally got rid of Spicer. Hey there, Figo Drizzle. Lieutenant Rebellia Strouder of the OCT. I know you've been sneaking around behind me. Heh. <laughs> so you've known I was here, huh? I got no idea what you're up to out here all alone. But you can't beat me one on one. Suck it. Knock it off. You're all gonna die. Huh? That's not a threat. My commander isn't exactly the most gentle dude. He said if we toss out an immortal demon strapped with dynamite, Fugo Drezzle will be taken care of, you know. Immortal? Wait, hold up. Why are you actually telling me your plans? If we were to just fight it out, that would have been the end of it. So this is actually a bluff. You idiot. You're a bomber, right? Can't you tell what's real and what's fake? God damn. So it's real for sure. Bomber, are you okay? Stay back. This guy's a demon. He's too much for you. Give up. It doesn't matter what kind of info you've got, it's too late. This place is about to collapse anyway. You guys were worn out, and we're still in tip-top shape. Also, Dratton has no intention of bringing you all in. Whatever it takes, he plans on killing you all here. Bomber, don't listen to them. Slug, don't move too much. The floor's gonna give. They can't come after us. Let's get away from them while we still can. I'll save you. What? You're just violent terrorists. But you care about your friends. So therefore, you must be killed. Noel Kirkwet was the same. I wasn't able to stop Noelle. I allowed her to return to that place with murderous intent. However, it wasn't because she was stronger, I just simply wasn't murderous enough myself. You know, the military isn't about a captain being strong or weak. If they come out to kill you in full force, it would all be over. This is enough. Surrender, Figo Dressel. If you surrender, I give you my guarantee your friends will live. Right here, right now, as unit captain, I'll protect them from Dratton. But you, with your history as a demon, there's nothing that can be done. Even still, your subordinates will live. And Noel and the rest, they may survive as well. Make the decision now and they'll all be okay. I don't think so, Rebellio. Spicer! It's that great demon again. 
I was wondering what you were playing at, getting away from me like that. And after every yesterday, I'm tired of this. You're not putting this again. G Ooh, what's that trigger? My urge to kill. That beardo told you to work as Living Dead too, didn't he? So you know what you have to do. Kill them all without prejudice like the monster you are. What's all this about friends and stuff? They just bore some human garbage. They have something you lost. What are you, jealous? Well, with a floor collapse and you can't get across, can you? In that case, I'll do it for you. How about I tear them all into pieces? This black thing, is he in control? If you go drizzle, if you live, everyone dies. Actually, I'll kill them myself. Kill, kill, kill. Sheesh, I have no idea what's going on. But one thing I can say is, there's no way we're gonna die here. We gotta dodge those arrows, it would see. Versus the Demon Spicer. Battle, survive Spicer's attacks. Easy enough. What the hell? What's this black thing? Spikes from hell. It's my arms and legs, my very self. Unspoken of in the tales of the Demon Spicer, the power of my rage. Sheesh, with her physical body all the way over there, I can't even fight back. You're pretty quick. How about this? The black thing suddenly turned to fog. I can't see anything. And now it's wrapping me up. I can't move. <laughs> Can you still dance now? Let me give you something weaker. Oh, sheesh. Yeeks. We're surrounded at this rate. It hurts. Haha, <laughs> no errors. Huh. Huh. What the hell is this? It's not working. This won't end. Fugo, we're here for backup. You idiot. There's no way you can take them on. Stay the hell back. Hey, come on. We can fight too. Even if it's just for an instant, I'm able to get you an opening. Ugh. Me too. Stop. You all keep away. We're okay. I won't hold you back. You pee me off. Well, if that doesn't work, then lightning does. Wait, Spicer. Don't kill them. Hmm? See so your urges have subsided, huh? Maybe I've been playing around too much. You guys, are you okay? I... I'm alive, at least. Slug is in trouble. Slug. Slug, are you alive? He's not... He's not talking. Rebellio. Well, both you and them. You all believed yourselves to be the heroes of your stories, poor idiots. I guess it would make sense to show mercy just once. Hey, you, Bernie. What? If you become my new toy, I'll let everyone live. How about it? Or do you want all your buddies to die? <laughs> no, Figo Drezel, if you give in, you'll never... What are you talking about? This is just what you wanted. Submission, right? That's not. Choose now. 
servitude or freedom servitude or freedom okay <laughs> as for me I don't even have to think about it I'm out I'll take the loss bomber <laughs> that was a quick decision I thought it would be a bit harder. You scared now? No. I'm done with all that. I mean, I can't fight back anyway. But still, I dodged the OCT in the city. And fought. And since getting dropped down here, I've done everything I can. Even when blank got tough. No medicine. No mask. I used all my power up on the front. And keep running. But... Dratton was right. I acted selfishly and irresponsibly, and this is the result. I just had to act out on my own, and got my friends in trouble. I got hurt, and now I can't turn back. Even the power to pull three people is gone. But I won't let them get mixed up in this. They followed me all the way, letting them become victims too. It's meaningless. At the very least, by putting out the flames, I can finally take responsibility as a leader. So I guess this is it. Alright. Well then, as proof of your submission, get your head down to the ground and put the flames out yourself. If it's to help your friends, then sacrificing yourself is nothing to be ashamed of. But... Was this really the right thing to do? No, it's pointless to even think about it. I can't beat someone stronger than me. That much is obvious. Not everyone is like Noel. Not everyone is special. You slug! Oh my god, you really cauterized your own wound? Bomber, my wound. It's already closed up. Idiot, you'll die of shock. What the hell are you doing, slug? Stop! You don't need to be hurt for my sake anymore. What? Ooh. What the hell are you talking about, Fugo? You. You're. You don't give in to anyone. You're supposed to be our hero. Ever since we were at the steel mill, you've always been. From back when I was a gaffer till now, always. Don't you remember what you said? You said you didn't have to look out for us. Nobody asked you to do this. But he hasn't been a demon yet. Can he just die like this? That was then. This is now. This is because I got you mixed up in my fight. And it's my way of making that right to you all. I'm not here to be your excuse. Do you remember when you lost to Noah and Charon and got caught and went away? Even then, we all got back together at the steel mill. Why do you think that happened? Because we had nowhere else to live and we stayed back out of necessity. No, it's because we wanted to see you screw up the cops and Bowser's plot and make your comeback. It's because we all believed that this sorry, that that's the kind of guy you were. And then you actually came back. You didn't let the place authorities hold you back. You're here now. That's your power. We all stuck with you because we respect that. But if you, bomb of a flame demon, kill your own flame, then it will all really be over. Yeah. 
We all carry the same scars. I won't let you forget what you said, Bomber. We're all the same. We're all responsible for ourselves. I don't want you to give up on that just to help me. We're the same because we fought together. God damn it. Yeah. Right now, you're looking at Dratton and the adults around you and trying to make a logical and responsible decision. That's well right. But that's a sort of right answer that even I could give. You're supposed to show me a better answer. One with more hope. <laughs> what the hell? What? It was pointless. And unnecessary. Just hiding out isn't gonna work. Sorry. I'm not gonna give up after all. What? Python. Toad. Slug. Back up in two seconds. You can do that, right? Yeah, no blank. That dynamite. Oh, are you crazy? Blank. Nice going, dudes. Well, that was very convenient. Ugh. Ah. Oh. Are you okay? What about them? Looks like they're gone. I doubt they were totally blown away or anything. But still, at least we were able to get rid of them for now. <laughs> Suck it! That felt good. Exasperation. That attack. That was so like you. Even I feel like it woke me up. Well, Bomber. Gotta live up to the name. So, I managed to keep from holding you back, didn't I? If I wasn't hurt, one second would have been enough. Heh. <laughs> Don't get all big-headed now, you guys. But yeah. That really did feel pretty damn good. That's just how I got blank down. Get blank down. But we should leave now. Wow. Well, it looks like that attack really did end things. We have to get out of here or we'll be burned alive. Let's go. This kind of catastrophe claustrophobic place. It doesn't suit us. Yeah. You guys, just a little further. We're gonna get out of here. Mm-hmm. That fight was nasty. Bomber. Living life for Bomber Way. That's more important to us than anything. As long as you continue to resist. I'll follow you too, Bomber. It seems like this suits me better. More than living my life based on some arbitrary code of right and wrong. Let's get going then. Oh. You're slowing down, aren't you? Slug. <laughs> Cauterizing the wound. That was a little too much. Come on, man. We're almost there. This floor's going to give out, isn't it? I can't move my arms and legs. I think I've bled out too much. It's because you went too far. Wait, I'll carry you. Ugh. Don't forget. Everyone has finally become able to walk. And Bomber. No medicine. No mask. It's a mystery how he's even able to stand. Hmm. Uh-oh. It's going to collapse. In this condition, I don't know how much longer it'll last. Go on, Bomber. Leave me here. What the hell are you saying? What's wrong? Are you just all talk, Bomber? You. Run up ahead. Keep lighting the way. Don't you stop running, Slug. This is it for me. Thanks for a wonderful dream. What the hell are you talking about? We're the three rejects, right? Without you, we're just not the same, damn it. Okay, then. I'm giving it back. Giving it back? My name's Slug. I'm giving it back. 
I'm going back to a guard for flats. Ooh. Listen, Fugo. You gave me the name Slug. And it made me so happy. This name gave me a new life. But, even so, if it's going to make me hold you back, then in that case, I don't want this name. That's not what this name is supposed to be for. From this moment on, you and me, we're strangers. Fate brought us together, living as your underling. It was really fun, Zoe. <laughs> In the end, you never really learned how to shoot a gun, huh? Well, still, getting to know you and helping you out wasn't all that bad after all, Loro. Fugo, I'll say it one more time. Leave me here. And get out of here. Bomber. I'm asking you to... Let's... Leave a guard for here. He doesn't want to hold you back. It's our friend's last wish. Let's give him this. Bomber. A Garfa idolized you. You never gave up and lived life on your own terms. And so, you can't give up now just for one person. You have to keep running. Do it for a Garfa. You're a brother. Don't make this all for naught. Fugo. What the? If you find someone worthy of it, the name's Slug, give it to them for me. Someone like me. Someone whose name was never accepted by anyone else. That's the kind of thing that could save a person. And so, listen. Please, Hugo. I don't want to hold you back. Hmm. Fine. Okay. Agatha, you know what? I'm gonna bring you with me. Bring me with you? Yeah. Using some for your own advantage. I hate blank like that. And whether you like it or not, I'm taking you with me. Bomber, you're not gonna be able to. I can't lift my arm. If an explosion, it did my shoulder in. It's just one person I can carry him. Move. Bomber! Move! You can't. You can move, right? What's a demon for anyway? Gah! Huh? I feel like I'm losing consciousness. My body can't keep up. But still. I. I don't want to give in. What's this now? Oh, hello there. Noel and Charon. It looks like we made it in time. Noel! Huh? That was pretty close to a minute. The flames keep shooting up, and so we knew just where you were. Facing off against the two captains and spices, really saying that you made it so far. Charon, Oscar, you guys, why are you here? Whoa. They're making a bunch of noise up top. With all these explosions, it's hard to miss. That's it, explosions. The underground shopping area is about to collapse. Huh? 
Sharon and I stopped it. You stopped it? The collapse? Yes. Also, your guy's injuries too. Injuries too, sorry. Oh, I feel kind of better. You, Noelle, just what is there about... So, just what is that power? Just so non holding about everything. Nothing non holic about it. Can you stand up? Ugh, yeah. Don't overexert yourself. Your injuries aren't healed, they just closed up. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Charon, is something different? What do you think? Looks cool, right? The thing you're wearing around your neck by the tie? It looks kind of messed up. Go see a pub. <laughs> it's not messed up. <laughs> Damn. Okay, what do we do now, Noel? We've made a Viswar. Yes, the mortal linker is full, right? Yeah, this power is dangerous if used carelessly. Even now, you've already granted some pretty big wishes. Thinking ahead, you probably shouldn't use it anymore. What the hell does that mean? Speak English. Does this mean that this almighty power can no longer be used for a moment? That's right. My apologies. This is what Noel looked like in Chapter 8 as well. Season 8. It's more than enough. We were able to get out of certain death all at once. Seriously, you really came through for us. We broke in from the corridor in B1 floor. There's an emergency exit that connects to the subway tracks. Your buddies from the steel mill secured the route for us. Really? They heard all the noise and came through to help. They've been well trained. Those guys. That battle in the city brought the guys from the street mill together. Since you didn't give up on Ogartha, Noel and them made it in time. So that's what happened. I'm not surprised. Look at how Fugo lives. Of course it went like that. This situation. The soldiers and even the captain may come down. You all did such a great job. Leave a rest to us and please go rest. Heh. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Those guys all came together like that. I can't start looking weak now. Python, Toad. You guys aren't fully recovered yet. You two take a gaffer and head straight for that emergency exit. I'll go with Noel and them to try and stop the captain. Are you going to be okay? A demon should handle a demon. And everyone else needs to escape. It's only fair. Everyone's counting on you. Show those guys what a badass you are. Alright. Move out. See you up top. I knew somehow, some way, those guys are going to make it. Hmm. <laughs> Up against a great devil and an immortal demon. Also, as for Draton, he can create red hot weapons on the spot. He did say something about heat weapons. Anything goes, I guess. That's not something for you to say, but seriously, anything is possible right now. The OCT is using something called a demon admin code to manage with demons. Managing demons? So that's why the OCT have been well, has been taken has been talking in Rebellion and Spicer like that, it was nothing. The National Guard is keeping demons like pets. And with official ranks like Captain, those blanks. They're dirty. And with people like that and And with people like that moving in on the place, yeah, it's gonna be pretty rough. Just what is Mayor Burroughs hiding? We gotta find out. You fought Spicer. I'm surprised you survived. It was tougher than when I fought you at the steel mill. Hmm. I guess I shouldn't have been worried. But, there's a great devil and two demons. Hmm, actually, the remaining one might also be a demon. I mean, we may have caused a lot of trouble in the place, but 
Why go this far? Yeah, no matter how you look at it, something is off. I mean, even if the government or someone was using demons secretly, using all the devils and demons for anti-terrorism is just too risky. If people found out, the government would be in deep trouble. And so, I guess there has to be something in the place after all. Something making them go this far to get rid of terrorists. And whatever it is, it's gotta be Russell's weak point. Something even I don't know about. Hmm. That sob. Just what is he hiding? See that face? I can tell you you gave it all. So, I can tell you gave it your all to get this far. Good job. And you. Stop just disappearing like that. What happened afterward? I got caught by the OCT and they grilled me about Noelle's location. But Noelle and them came and saved me. Pathetic. Hmm. See this face. He can tell I gave it my all. That's what I should be telling him. In just a month, getting all skinny like that. Rebellion and them. I've got to get them back. If they're going to screw with me, I'm going to screw them back. Why let Noel and them have all the fun? Heh. <laughs> yeah. I, too, need to kick that smug blank Dratton's ass. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Escape the underground area. Is this going to be... Ready to go already? This is your last chance to get ready, you know. Hmm. Do we need any more equipment? Yeah, let's get another ointment just in case. What are these floating things here anyway? Well, maybe that's the power that's just stopping the collapse. Go. That was quick. Noel Charon. Spicer, so you're alive. Figo Drezzle, I showed you mercy. What a rude, thankless blank. You guys go on ahead. I'll catch up later. Wow. You've become quite the big boy now, huh? Charon, Noel, you want to take me on? Since all we need to do is hold you back for a bit, I think we can handle it. Well then, let's see just how right or wrong you are. Go. Thanks. Hmm, this power. I won't forget it, since you've hooked up with Noel. Noel and them are busy. So is your great devil. Hmm. Your power, causing injury as you cut down demons. It doesn't really work on me, an immortal, does it? We've never fought one-on-one -on -one before. Ugh. I was known as the demon killer. Must make, but mistake me for other lesser demons and you're likely to get hurt. Perfect, Oscar Drezzle. Let's see you can last longest. Go, Fugle. Let me take care of this one. Looks like you've got unfinished business. Take him down, demon killer. So that was when we should have gone over there. If we really wanted that. Who else is going to keep us busy? Bomber! You! So you're causing trouble again, huh? You sob. I've been waiting. Hurry up! The emergency exit is this way. Hey, wait. What's going on? Well, it looks like the big boss has arrived. You had quite the card up your sleeve. Honestly, this was a surprise. While I appreciate the invitation, though, I'm going to go ahead and go. They've come for me. Go where? Let me ask you this. Why exactly are you helping Noel? Escape? Release? Guidance? For certain. There would be reasons to lend a hand once or twice, but that alone is not alone to sacrifice your subordinates. 
your life and everything. Unless you've just given up on rational thought, there has to be a reason for your doing like your for you doing this. Heh. <laughs> Something is strange. It's just you ask such meaningless questions. Ask for my help. Sorry, ask for my reason for helping the well. Well, well, she's cool, and I like her, so that's why. Are you dodging the question because you can't answer? That's why you're still just a little punk. It's just not worth answering your BS questions, you old piece of blank. You made it clear enough. You're not a little punk. You're an enemy of law and order. Great. Now up against the big man himself. Hard battle. Defeat Draton. Even after all this, the floor still doesn't collapse beneath him. Demon powers really are mysterious. What's the deal with this guy's power? Weapons, walls... Can he really create literally anything? I can't find any kind of break. Hmm? Just now for a split second, I feel like his heat weakened. Just maybe. After a combo attack, he needs to take a break. A breath so. If so, that's my chance. Even with this power, I'm still no match for them. To think the day would come when I'd lose to fire. Laurel Masri, Zoe Tasker, Agatha Flats. They can use all the allies as they want. We found their real names. Same with the ones in the back. Everyone you've been involved with has been marked. Nobody's getting away. Huh? You think so? The old names don't mean blank now. <laughs> You're right. They're just your loyal snake, frog, and slug now, aren't they? Filthy animals don't need names. That's not what I mean. Their names, they represent their new lives. A new life from a name? BS. A name represents one's life and achievements up to now. Arsenal. You know what that is? Your demon admin code, huh? Bingo! So you don't even deny it. You probably shouldn't have admitted that, you know? You seem to be misunderstanding something. A demon admin code is not the same as what you call a demon name. It's not a name you just arbitrarily reuse, nor feel guilty about. It shows your loyalty to order and the state has been recognized. It's a soldier's badge of honor. Defeat Draton, yes. That was a solid hit, but he didn't move an inch. As long as I can buy some time, that's all I need. God, this is tough. It's not working, loser. You look exhausted. You okay there? Huh. Huh. Sheesh. Bomber, you can't let that creepy blank beat you. Python and Vim will be here soon. Just a little longer. The, the cigar. Aim for his cigar and burn it. Get him to start coughing up. Quit spouting random blank like you're not involved. But he's right. Being here in the connecting hallway, I really need to buy some time. 
Hmm? A hammer now. I'll give you a good name. Executed. How's that sound? Eat blank. There's no time to be losing my breath. I'm a flame demon. I gotta get it together. I can't let the place get taken over. Burn! Boya! Huh, so that's what's up. If you fall, the amount of heat is up there with my red heat gear. But... If you're just gonna burn up in an instant and then disappear, that's not real power. That's just an irresponsible vain struggle. Fine by me. Touch the cannon to burn it up. Alright. Breakthrough! Yeah. We didn't avoid damage. This battle personifies you perfectly. The OCT takes you down again and again with overwhelming force, but you, you're at your limit, struggling to fight them off one at a time. How much longer are you going to keep doing this until you happen to land one miraculous attack? Are you okay? We held him up for a moment and got us away. That one was a bit too tough for us. Noel, Charon, you okay? They're here. Oscar, did you take Rebellio out on your own? As much as I wanted to, I just got him stuck under some rubble and stopped him for a bit. He's bound to get out any second, let's hurry. Where are Agatha and the rest? Sorry, we're late. I'm still so exhausted. Heh. <laughs> awesome. That's everyone. What? Spice from a barrier? What a joke. <laughs> Noel, Charon, we're gonna kill you. Where are you going? Huh? Spicer? No way. Spicer fell was tied down. How could she move? It'll take more than that to stop me. Why not try using more of that power you're using to stop the collapse? Gah! Any more than this and the well? Let's do it, Charon. We have no other choice. Hmm, they look like they're in pretty bad shape. But this is no time to worry about others. So, how are you going to take me down? Try using some more of that power you believe in. I've been watching you from down below, Fugal Drizzle. Even if you're able to momentarily handle spice with me, in the end you can't win. That's what happens when you make enemies with an unbeatable foe. How are we going to take you down? You know, you seem to be misunderstanding something. What? Bomb? No. Color spray. Gonna have to close my eyes again. Do you really think it'll work this time? What? I dodged that easily. No, wait. Maybe it wasn't supposed to hit. Not just the pawns in front of you. You gotta watch the whole chessboard, right? Well, break it down. Charon, cut the mortal linker. Okay. The collapse. They've let it go. I've got to get out of here. Hurry, it's about to collapse. I see. So you've decided to swallow your pride and depend on your friends to escape. Considering the safety of everyone in the siege, escape is the right choice. You find it like a leader for once. That's Ron Dratton. Have you finally noticed? You know, he's finally learnt. That watch the entire chessboard thing you love to talk about. Their real enemy is Burroughs still to come. Not us. How powerful the OCT may be, 
but you plan to slip right through the emergency exit. This way. Let's get out of here. I... I was always so naive, just crawling along. Huh. The new generation of Laplace. Every single one of them. The story is so confusing to keep up with. <laughs> it's like, what the heck is going on at all times? Seems like we're able to be in one piece, though. Ooh. The silhouettes. It looks like we got away. It's pretty quiet here. Wow, we actually made it out alive. Of course we did. We've been preparing since last night, right? Yeah. After the explosions in the evening, the battle in the city died down. So I thought you guys might be in trouble. You guys... Is it really okay that you came back? Hmm? Who knows? But you guys didn't stop. We wanted to watch you guys shine. You know, that lack of blanks to give, it puts the fire under our blanks. <laughs> so there's no regrets here. I was in the Rosso family, so I get what Dratton's saying. That force changed the way you look at it, and it's naive and simplistic. But, I get how that heat can get people passionate. I believe it will become a power to overcome all this absurdity. This really got a lot bigger than I expected. We were able to get together like this. It feels like time has stopped and it's finally moving again. It's the first time we've all been, we've all gotten together since the ceremony. You all did great making it out. It was thanks to you that we were able to focus on Noel's recuperation. Come on, I mean, it would have been nice to get some kind of communication. But still, two whole months. Laplace has really changed a lot in that time. The biggest changes are still ahead of us. Let's expose the dark secret of Laplace and take down Mayor Burrows. Hey. I used some of your spray. Oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, Fugo? Yeah? I, uh, back there in the heat of a moment. I kind of said some stuff. Oh, yeah. It kind of hit home. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Heh. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then keep your blank together, man. And you better stick to us to the end, slug. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll stick with you, bomber. And that's how it gets done, folks. That is how it gets done. Not, well, it is another kind of climatic ending there but on the complete opposite end of how it ended on season 8 where we literally disbanded for a few months but that was another action packed brilliant chapter to this tale of Noel the Mortal Fate but how is season 10 going to come about? I don't know well we all literally thought it was going to end at season 7 until Mayor Burroughs decided you know what I'm just going to whisk out my demonic powers that, you've ne that I've never brought out before and see how they like it. Lovely. Well, the Nautal Fate, Season 9, burn your name. And put you within the rubbles of the underground. Aquarius CEO? Hmm. Hey, Russell. Hello. That urban battle the other day was pretty rough. After all that chaos, you still managed to bring in nothing, huh? Well, while it was certainly a bad loss personally, OCT is in pretty bad shape now too. Yeah, with the loss of the head of a hive. Assuming he's still alive, Commander Bergman will have to take responsibility. 
<laughs> That's true. If you weren't mayor of the place, you'd have been let go long ago. But considering they sent in forces like that, I guess the federal government has a special soft spot for the place. The shadows of the place are a government secret, after all. If word of it got out, everyone involved would go down in history. And not in a good way, you know. <laughs> People in OCT have been sniffing around these shadows. You and Allied Doe and the members of the committee. Anyone else? Yes. Lieutenant Luz Mari. She's a demon, but a demon with no ties to the shadows. So, she's a demon, but she's been snooping around the shadows. That may just be proof that she doesn't know yet, yet know what's really inside. However, she was a also, she was apparently also looking into Sibelia Pe Sibella Pekka as well, and she doesn't miss a real pro. I see. You know, Russell. I thought you had gone too far in taking out Cybella. Even I could tell she had real ability, really intelligent. And she was one of the best out there protecting the shadows. But the way things turned out, it was best to ensure she'd stay quiet as quickly as possible. You've really got a gift on foresight. You're on part with Elido. Come on, you flatter me. Lucy Mari is snuffing around the shadows on her own. And as for what she's up to, I still have no idea. But still, a secret is a secret no matter what. Military or not, this must not be found out. I know you're careful. However trustworthy one's allies may seem, as they say, dead men tell no tales. What? Dead men tell no tales. Exactly. No! I've been leading since Alado's time, since before you were even born with your father and as a member of the committee of protective the shadows all this time. Are you really going to kill me just to ensure my silence? None of that matters. It was my father who created the committee, not me. Sibylla, you, whoever, all just pawns before me. Of course, if anybody knew about that. If Lucy Mari is left to her own devices, someday she'll end up finding those responsible for the shadows of her own. And then she'll find out what's inside. And just maybe she'll catch on to what lies past there as well. Therefore, those responsible for the shadows must be removed from the equation. No one needs to know this secret but me. And well, the old man running the country might get riled up, but oh well. You're still young, aren't you, Mayor Burroughs? By the way, there was one boss whose whereabouts I couldn't find. The owner of the casino. Acquired one of three things there? Eh? Acquired P25 or 32. Hmm. Is that in some sort of update recently to this game where it tells you of your uh, progress? I knew I missed at least one of them to be continued. Oh, yeah. So that, folks, is season 9. To Noel the Mortal Fate. We don't know when season 10 will be out, but we'll be seeing each other's when it comes out, folks. Hope you enjoyed it so far, and we'll see each other's in the next video. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.